so we are going to start a new chapter that is chemical effects of electric current topics to be discussed in this chapter are introduction part then we will discuss electric current good conductors and poor conductors of electricity then chemical effects of electric current and at last we will discuss about electroplating so chemical effects of electric current so when we talk about electric current what are we talking about basically we are talking about the electricity with the type of energy which exists due to the flow of electrons we are going to talk about electric current in detail in this lesson a simple example when you switch on your bulb glows when you switch it off it immediately turns off now what is the magic that happens inside the bulb that as soon as you switch it on so the switch is located like somewhere else and all you need to do is to make the bulb glow and you uh, just give you a lot uh, bulb give you a lot of light and how just to press a switch it's that simple but have you ever thought how exactly is the bulb glowing when you are switching it on so how that happens that happens due to electricity another interesting example uh, while you would have experienced electricity is have you ever saw someone um, uh, somebody or yourself trying to touch an open electrical outlet and then getting a shock so experiencing an electric shock that's another scenario where you can actually feel the presence of electricity so electricity provides power to various buildings electrical devices automobiles if you talk about devices like camera battery electrical appliances um battery operated so many devices right whether you talk about computers entire electrical appliances in your houses fans bul bulbs everything works due to electricity if you talk about the battery operated devices like your mobile phones uh, alarm clocks or the cameras there are so many things which are dependent on battery because battery exists acts as a source of energy source of electricity so in this lesson we are going to talk about the chemical changes or the reactions which will take place when electric current is passed through an object or when electric current is passed through a solution that's what we are going to talk about now uh, before we get into exactly that topic let's start with the very basics of electricity what is electric current how it passes through a particular object whether it can pass through all the objects or not first we will classify all these basics uh, we will clarify all these basics and then we will try to understand the chemical changes which take place in an object when electricity passes through it so that is the agenda of our lesson here so what is electric current electric current is the flow of electric charges and that's all now the question is what are these charges um so you might not be knowing a lot about charges but you must be knowing that a substance can be positively charged it can be negatively charged it can have a neutral charge so any particle which carries a charge with it that's called a charged particle so we will talk about electric charge in more detail in the lesson you will get a better idea when you um, discuss that at a time so when that these charged particles they move so the movement of these charged particles builds current and how do we actually measure it uh, measure it uh, that how much current is flowing it's measured as the rate of flow of charge that means how many charges have flown in a particular period of time so in uh, simple words uh, it considers uh, uh, charges like um, for instance uh, take the uh, consider the charges like small children so it's like you have a big playground where children are running from one end to the other so how many children ran from one end to the other in one hour so that gives you the rate of flow of children right so similarly here also the charges flow from one place to another and the uh, flow of charges constitute current now how many charges had flown over a period of time that is how we measure current so current is the rate of flow of charge and the si unit to measure current is amperes now i will give a simple example to show that electric current flows through a circuit now circuit is the new term here just uh, look at this and you will understand what i mean by the circuit 
what I mean by the electric current. All you need to do is take your bulb, uh, take a battery, and uh, here this is your ba battery, and this is your bulb. Um, now, if you observe the battery, you will see that the battery have two terminals: po positive terminal marked here and the negative terminal marked, right? So uh, you uh, uh, now in this diagram, um, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal, right? Right? So you connect the positive and negative terminal of the battery to the two terminals of the bulb, right? And uh, that is how you prepare a circuit. And there is a key, or you can say switch. Um, so this is a simple circuit to just show you uh, that how current flows through it. So in between you can see here is a gap. Uh, in case you think that fi fixing a switch is here is difficult, so what you can do is when I say that the switch is off, that means the circuit is not complete. As you can see here, gap is here, right? So that means you have not yet joined the wires. Um, uh, now, as long as you do not make it complete, you do not join the wires, you do not switch it on, current will not be able to flow. So, that time, it means the switch is off. Now, what happens when you switch it on? Uh, so, as you switch it on, the circuit becomes complete. So, now what happens? The current starts to flow. Uh, so, um, current has got the path to flow. Now, as soon as current starts to flow, current reaches the bulb, right? Now, if the current is high enough, it's able to glow the bulb. Now, you might be curious to know how the flow of current is able to glow the bulb. Actually, we'll talk about this in detail. But for your information, inside the bulb, you have a filament. And as the current flows through a filament, so this filament gets heated up. And when the filament gets heated up, it glows. So that's basically how, uh, how a bulb glows. So what did you see here? You saw that as soon as you switch it on, that means as soon as the circuit was complete, circuit is nothing but here a path through which charges can flow, right? Now, as I was, I was giving you an example of children running from one end of park to the other, so they need a ground where they can run, right? They cannot run on the sky, so they need a ground. So that ground is nothing but the path for the children to run. So similarly here also, these charges also need a path to flow. So if you break the path like here, if you break the path in between, um, that means when you switch it off or when the wires were not connected so the path was not complete so even if the charges flow till here now how they are going to cross this empty space so they will not be able to flow because the path is broken there so as soon as the circuit becomes complete like this charges get a path flow and when the charges flow current is formed and due to this current these electrical appliances which have filaments get heated up and they glow. So here what do we see? Uh, that this entire path is termed as electric circuit. And when we talk about current, it's about the electric charges which move through this external circuit. So the charges are actually flowing through the circuit. And the flow of charge constitutes electric current that is measured in Ampere's.